Everybody loves a unicorn business. You know, that subscription-based business that comes out of nowhere, has a platform, can add millions of users overnight, and they're an instant success. They're listed on the stock exchange, and they're actually, uh, you know, powering along, making crap tons of money. Well, how long does it take to get there, and how tricky can it be to build a subscription-based model? I thought, in our experience over the years, uh, it can be quite a long time, and, and I'll just actually demonstrate why that is and some levers that we can use to actually uh, adjust that, that timing, if you like. So I thought I'd just look at a revenue break even. Uh, very, very simple. Let's keep this as simple as possible. This is the internet after all. Uh, say I had uh, 10, my magic number is 10,000 subscribers uh, paying $10 a month, which equates to 100 grand a month or 1.2 million revenue a year. This graph is re represented by the growth in those customers or those subscribers over, over a period of time. And here's our break even point. So sounds simple, right? A lot of developers uh, sit in their bedrooms coding or in their garages coding this stuff, thinking they're gonna get there by just launching a website and uh, getting their app live because their, their app is so freaking good uh, that it's just gonna uh, win customers overnight. That is so far from the truth, it's not funny. We really need to think about a budget for marketing. So developers don't actually think about marketing at all. The good ones do, uh, but let's have a think about our budget. Say I'm gonna suggest a really conservative budget of five grand a month uh, to spend towards marketing and, and client acquisition. So it might cost us $50 uh, to acquire each client or each subscriber. So a few clicks on uh, Google, pay per ads, uh, and some other processes, maybe so, a manual support person inside. So if we can get that down to uh, five grand a month, we're gonna end up with 100 subscribers per month. Our products are getting on the board, runs on the board, what is that, how long does it take to get to 10,000 subscribers if we're signing up 100 per month? Well, that's 100 months. It's a long time. How long is 100 months, you ask? 8.33 years. That's a long time to get here. I've never even really seen a startup financial plan that has eight, eight years in it. It's usually a three year trajectory and we're gonna make crap tons of profit by uh, the end of year two. So yeah, 8.33 years is a long time, but it's not unusual. A lot of businesses, a lot of subscriber-based businesses take a long time to grow and you don't realize it at the time But uh, when you're starting up, but it's a long road. You have to be in it for the long haul. What are the levers? Well, obviously, this is your magic number. So instead of really uh, trying to look at this uh, growth here, what you should be looking at is, is your acquisition cost. So that will start up here, very high because no one knows you. You've got to advertise a lot. You've got to put the word out there. You've got to be doing trade shows and, and online marketing and everything. That'll be up high and gradually that will reduce over time. It's inverse to the number, I guess, because word of mouth and all the rest. So this, this, these are the numbers, this is the journey you need to focus on to, uh, for your budget. Keep that, you know, obviously uh, you need to look at some, maybe some investor funding or self-funded, however you're gonna do that. But thinking you're gonna fund it from cash flow from signups is totally naive. You need large pockets to drive through that initial stage of no cash, no customers, but lots of advertising costs. This is a really good uh, visual of how that, how that works. So the only levers you really have are increasing your budget or reducing your acquisition cost from $50 per acquisition to $10 per acquisition or $5. So uh, there are your numbers to think about. It's a pretty scary experience launching a subscription-based business. Uh, we, we did it several years ago and had a, some fun along the way, but it, we just didn't have deep enough pockets to really drive it. And we got, and in the meantime, we got crushed by competition that did have a good product and uh, deep pockets to carry it through and really grow the business. They ended up being uh, cash flow positive and uh, profitable within about 10 years. 
So good luck with your startup. It's, it's a fun journey, it's challenging, uh, but if your product's great, you'll be able to bring this forward as well because word of mouth will really drive it hard.